header in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to make a pretty simple transition like this and how to use it in some real life projects. So let's go right ahead and start creating this type of transition and how to go about this. At first I had to search the web for a six part mm, color scheme. So I have the color scheme already here and why do I want six parts? This was just my imagination. So I want six parts and how do I make six perfect bars which will exactly cover this slide? Well, it's pretty simple because you can go to design, slide size, and you can select custom slide size. And this is just to check how big the slide is. So we have 7.5 inches in height. So you just type in 7.5, you divide it by six, and we get 125. And you can also remember about this number because anything you want to design in PowerPoint, which will cover the entire slide, if it has 125, it will perfectly cover it. So I'm going right away to insert shapes and I'll insert six shapes. I do not have to bother about its size because as you remember, I can go to format and here on the right side, we have the height. I know that I want 125 and I'm certain that this will be perfect. Okay, before we control C and control V this across the slide, I would like to give it the animation that I desire. So I'm going to animation and I'll open the animation pane. So I have better control about what is happening. For my animation, I wanted to have the split animation. So at first it will come in and then it will get out of the screen. So for the first animation you want to split and then you want to click on add animation to add another animation on top of it. And you want again split with the red one from the exit effects. Okay, not this way around. I want to click on the effect options and select vertical out. Perfect. I can click on the red one and select with previous or I can do, just do it later. Let's maybe work with the timings a bit later. Okay, so now I have my first object and it's already animated. Let me preview it one more time. It comes into the screen and it fades out. Perfect. Now I can take it. I can press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Until I fill the entire slide. Okay, perfect, six bars. Now I select everything and I want to work on its coloristics. We come to the animations later. I go to my format, I select shape outline and I select no outline. Now I can come to the shape fill, which will be those colors. I select the last one. I can either use this here or just right click fill. Uh, I want to use the eyedropper. I'll click and I'll select the first color. And I'll repeat this step until I have all the colors. Okay, the coloristic is absolutely beautiful, but look what a mess this animation is. I will select play from. Yeah, one after another because everything is on mouse click. I want to start and sort things out. I will press my shift key on the first animation to select all of them. And I'll right click and I'll select all start with previous. Perfect. It would be helpful if we sort the animations. So I want to put the red ones close to each other because this is kind of a separate animation. And now we are perfectly prepared for work. We also have it one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, going from the bottom. I click on the first animation. I go to the animations pane and I leave it as is. Half a second and zero delay. Then on the first one, I press 0 0.1 and I just increment this by 0 0.1 on each of those animations because I want this to happen pretty quickly on my screen. Four, and the last one. Um, am I correct with this? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, perfect. Zero, zero point five. And I can preview now what happens. Mm, in order to preview this, I would have to select the red ones and I want to delay them a bit because they will appear later. Okay, select the first one and select play from. Beautiful. 
Also, this looks cool, but if you want to give it the last touch, I would select the red ones and I'll also increment it by, uh, oh, sorry, 1 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, and this will have two seconds. So, okay, let me select right click and select on click for the first one, so I have more control over this transition. Now, how this transition looks like in a real example. Absolutely stunning, but how to open the slide or for example transition between slides with such an animation. If you have this prepared, you can for example on your end on the end of your presentation put on the very bottom transitions. You could have a few of those animations and then let's select maybe I'll use this one. So you will take it, you just control C you go to the first slide, you paste it exactly here and you delete the last part because you want it here to appear at the end of your slide. And on the next slide you control V and you leave out the red ones. My mistake is here that I shouldn't have any delay because now it will stand in place for one and a half second but um, I'll just quickly adjust it like this so it opens at once. And how is this looking now on a real real example. So let's say that I have some animations here and these transitions are my last animation. It would be convenient if you go to home, select selection pane and rename those rectangles to like transition hashtag 1.8 because this is object number 8. This is how I would know that all those t hashtag 1 are from the transition number one, but this doesn't matter. Let me show you the usage. So I'm explaining you my slide number one. Once I'm finally ready with the slide, I will make this animation with my mouse click. It comes, I should set the slide to auto advance automatically, but if not, you make your another mouse click and you have these transitions. So from slide one, we transition in a absolutely beautiful and unique way and it's so much better than, than the normal transitions and if you are too lazy on the second slide you could even stay on the first slide with those because now the first slide would end like this like you see here and on the second slide you could for example select push or wipe and just imagine you would have this and now the wipe would kick in and you would have a beautiful wipe away. So this is a bit more advanced tutorial. I wish to record everything step by step from the beginning about this because there is a lot to cover, but this is the basics about how to approach this and how you can transition between slides in a very, very nice fashion. The most important thing is to get this entire animation done.